what's going on guys we back with another video man uh i told myself i wasn't gonna get involved in this this whole Corey ssg thing and and um big bank danny debacle but man it's been all over social media and you know Corey is actually one of the you know one of the guys that i actually watch on youtube so now this video is not me picking sides. It's just me just bringing <laughs> bringing awareness to to you guys, man. Um, yo, when you piss a woman off, bro, an upset woman, man, is 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 a problem that you just don't want in your hands. So in the case of this, man, um, Danny went on on one on went on a uh, Instagram rant yesterday, man, and she just I mean completely dragged Corey through the mud, man, and uh, you know what I'm saying it, it's it's one thing to you know, be mad and upset with somebody that, you know, your re relationship didn't work, but to just sit here and just dog this person and just, you know, just blatantly disrespect them. I don't care what nobody say. Calling a man a bitch is, is like one of the most disrespectful things you can do. And I mean, she didn't let go. She didn't hold back at calling him all types of bitches. So this clip I'm about to show you is from her Instagram last night. And, uh, I don't know, man. It's just, it's just crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, since they broke up uh, over the past couple of days, she's just been exposing him left and right, you know, and all this stuff is allegedly. None of this is – there's no facts behind it. And like I said, I'm not picking any size or anything, but I'm just letting you guys go enough. Mainly the fellas, bro, hey, you piss a woman off, man, this is some of the stuff you can deal with. Now, this is not all, all women. This is just some women, but – all right, y'all. Y'all gotta check this clip out. Hang on one second. Y'all, I'm already blocked from Facebook and I'm blocked from Instagram Live for like seven days. But listen, this is what I don't get. Bitch, you got so much energy to send this Sharia hoe all type of whatever the fuck because you ain't clocking no motherfucking teeth. But bitch, why your big teeth ass can't respond to me yourself? Like, bitch, we know you the one, the girl recording you on the phone, something, something. Yeah, this Corey. I'm finna give you what you been waiting for. Bitch, what you giving her? Cause, bitch, you don't even know my business. I already knew not to pillow talk to you, bitch. You record too much, bitch. You a police ass nigga. I don't even, I don't, I don't even care for niggas like you, bitch. Some of a street nigga. Man, see, this is the thing that this is the thing that pissed me off about this whole situation. You knew all this about him before you started messing with him, so because y'all relationship didn't work all of a sudden he's a whole bunch of bitches you don't mess with any niggas like that he's not a street nigga none of that we all know Corey's not a street nigga we we watched him grow up on 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 youtube but to sit here and disrespect this man and you laid down with this dude every single night you went on business trips and you went on vacations with this dude and all of a sudden y'all break up all this now all of a sudden you realize all this you knew all this before you start messing with him. So that's the biggest thing. The biggest problem that I'm having with this whole situation is you knew this before you started messing with the dude. Somebody selling dope in your music. Bitch, you ain't never saw no dope a day in your motherfucking life, bitch. No sex. Lying man, zoo. I'm talking about, bitch, how big T fans responded to everybody else. Not Mr. Corey, Mr. I control the internet. You responded to everybody else, bitch. But you wanna, for the last two days, you been talking about God. Now it's okay to talk about God, but Corey, I ain't never seen your ass talk about God this much. I swear I ain't. I ain't never seen, on somebody, you been putting up some good scriptures too. Like, where that come from? So disrespectful. Not Mr. Control, you a troll. You run the internet, what happened to that? I'm confused, you, you trying to send somebody out to do work? Respond to me yourself, cause you know I got way more than what I'm posting. Suppose, like you know, I got way more. That's why you won't respond. I have way more to tell. You. If I was you, I'd do that soon. I promise I will. And then you can tell the nigga, the nigga probably really want a nigga because he acting like a bitch right now. What type of nigga go link with his bitch up to try to expose some shit? When you did try to expose some shit, you didn't expose. Shit, nigga, finish that to-do list I gave your ass a few days ago, bitch. Finish that. Because that's all the fuck you can do for me right now. Because, Corey, you ain't got shit to say. You didn't know my business. I didn't even talk business around you. But hold on. Here's something funny. 
that I was, I, you know, just me being nosy on social media. So she's saying him linking with the ops. What I found out is that at some point in time, her and Big Boogie used to date back in the day or had some type of relations because there were boogie went live on his his instagram or something last night and he addressed the allegations of her saying you know what i'm saying that he was begging her for money hey big boo let me tell you something real quick i'm right here watching your live oh that was dope how they did that listen this shit wasn't about you this shit was about the bitch that you was fucking with that you thought was genuine about you i see a lot of you motherfuckers in the comment section talking about oh my god this just sherelle being messy it's just sherelle being messy boo don't pay her no mind Y'all so damn dysfunctional, it don't even make no fucking sense. That shit was not for me to say, oh, Boogie ain't got no money, da 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 No, that shit was, you trusted a bitch and asked her for whatever it is that y'all got going on, and that bitch turned around and told her friend, look, Boogie asking me for money, niggas coming to me for money, da 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 like she's some big top-notch bitch, and she got to take care of all you motherfuckers that come her way. That's what that was. He had to clear that up. So the thing is, that's funny to me is, so was this all made up? Because it's kind of funny that Carmen's messing with Boogie. Corey used to be married to Corey. And actually, he's still married to Carmen. And then Boogie and Danny used to have some type of relation. So it's like a big-ass circle. So, like, wh what what's going on? So er is everybody sleeping with the op? Or is this is this for for views? Or, or what's going on? You know what I'm saying? This is a whole crazy, weird scenario. I, and I hope they ain't not doing this for clout. You know what I'm saying? But who, who knows at this point? Bitch. You didn't know shit, nothing. Cause I knew, I just, you talk too fucking much. I don't even see why some of them niggas be around you, bro. You talk too fucking much. You such a bitch ass nigga. Bitch, you know what I should've did? I should've stuck a whole fucking deal though in your ass. I swear to God, because- Disrespectful. Bro, you, you really fuck. And here's my thing. The topic is Danny and Corey and these raffles. Why are you so like obsessed with me to the point you posting messages of me texting like friends because none of them niggas hit. So ain't nothing wrong with texting somebody friendly, this and that. Come on now. So who sent you that? Corey, Corey went through my phone. Oh, I'm sorry, bitch. Cause you real obsessed with me. You really act like you want to eat my food, bitch. So now she's talking about uh, the Sherelle girl that be on TikTok and on uh social media. That's a real high chick. She be she be on her be on her. So if you ain't if you ain't uh if you want to get caught up on what's going on, go to Sherelle Hodges um TikTok or her Facebook page and she she got the whole scoop on Danny. And uh she got she got some interesting content on there. You ain't my type. Bitch I swear to God you ugly, your gone black, you ain't got no money, bitch, your hair ball is fucked. Oh, you ugly as fuck. I would throw up if I look down and see you eat my I swear to God. Big gums, that skinny anger. That nigga so little under them foes. Nigga, I break your ass in half. Talking about I threaten you. How the fuck you gonna be threatened by a bitch? Like, come on now. Look at me and look at you. Like, nigga. Now, yeah, okay. I, I understand. Being threatened by a woman. Okay, yeah, the average man. But you have a woman that pull a gun on you. That's a whole different story. So supposedly, allegedly, Danny pulled a gun on Corey. And uh, I can see why he would say that he was he was scared of you or afraid of you. You pulled a gun. You can be a 400-pound man benching 600 pounds and a woman pull a gun on you. You're going to have some type of fear. You know what I'm saying? You can't outpunch a bullet. So I, that part she's talking about is, is dumb. Aaron, you, was, you was scared that day, huh? I know you was scared. As, this how I know you was scared as well because... When you start getting into it with you know who big on the internet, bitch. Bitch, you upgraded my whole security system in my house. I came home one day, bitch. I had cameras in the inside, outside, by the pool, in the pool, bitch. In the back, late, on the boat docks, bitch. I had cameras everywhere. I mean, she went on. So, the, so early in the video, she mentioned a to-do list. So, Oh man, this is crazy. I it, it, I don't know was he was he a boyfriend or was he a butler or was he an assistant or I don't know what type of kind of mutual agreement they had on, but this apparently is a, a, a to do list that she gave him. I don't know if this was a everyday thing or if this was just a one time thing. But it says to do list: book a cleaning service to change appointment from ten sixteen to ten nineteen. You can leave them at the house, just hide the jury, and make sure they clean the outside 
appliances and pa patio furniture. Fold clothes in the bins in my closet and fold clothes in the basket. Go purchase bed mattresses and box springs from a cheap bed mattress place, two kings and one queen. Go to the Miri store and get me a Miri romper and the Miri shoes and socks. Pest control will be at the house tomorrow between 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Contact a plumber to fix the kitchen sink and the bathroom sink. Drop off the Maybach because it needs a letter Y on the back and a part of the back tire needs to be fixed again. Go to Walmart and get these items for Royce. I don't know, bro. Sound like he. I don't, that's dude. That's something that you give an assistant, not your, you know what I'm saying? That's a little steep to be a boyfriend. That's almost like she was running him or something, but I don't know. <laughs> that's insane. I don't know, guys. This 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 whole scenario is messy as hell. Uh, but uh, this is just a warning for men and women. Um, hopefully, when you when you guys break up or you 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 go your separate ways in the relationships, that you guys can leave. You guys can leave in a civilized fashion, like two civil adults. Because this right here, man, I don't I don't wish this type of stress, these type of problems on nobody. But I don't know. I I can I. I'm assuming Corey's going to respond at some point in time. Who knows? Um, if, if it was him, I would just lay low and not even say nothing to her. I wouldn't even egg her on. So I don't know. That's just my opinion on it. But he, you know what I'm saying? He's known to make money off of controversy. So, Hey, he may respond and, and you know why he might as well make money off of it. So, um, uh, all right, guys, you, uh, hit that subscribe button. Let me know, uh, what you guys think down in the comments, uh, share the video. Tell me what you guys think. Have you been in a situation like this before? Have you been in a situation where you was in a relationship and everything was perfect? And then as soon as y'all went y'all separate ways, all hell broke loose, you know, happens to the best of us. Uh, but until the next time I see you guys in the next video, see you.